him as at his peak. You guys all played your part. Tonight we go and we bring home the treasure. All right, remember, one team, one dream. One dream. Team Zoo 2, let's go. Let's come, go. On, come on, come on. Come on. We're away, boys. Timmy. Good morning guys, good morning friends. So give yourselves a round of applause. Hello, make some noise. We are here at the Zoo Boxing Academy. This is almost like a museum as well. We're gonna show you around. There's a lot of fascinating old posters here. Very special guests, we have Tim Zoo. Round of applause for Timmy. Yeah. Uh, he has a big fight next week. Tell us about that fight and, and how preparations are going. Yeah, so I'm 13 and 0 now, going for 14. Um, next fight's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be at the ICC. It's gonna be uh, live on a Fox Sports main event, you know, for the, for the second time in my career, I'm headlining a main event card, which is big. Um, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna, it's for the number five position in the world and you know, number five position in the world, not many people can say that. Absolutely, that's yeah. huge. Uh, it's up against Dwight Ritchie. Um, if Dwight is waking up this morning before training, having a look at this interview right now, what do you say to Dwight? Good morning, you better go for your run. <laughs> commitments have been enormous on this one because it is a big pay-per-view it's probably it's being hailed as the best domestic card in Australian boxing for a long time so and Timmy being the headline it's been a lot of a lot of pressure and as his manager what I can tell you is that we probably did it somewhere in the vicinity of 30 or 40 media requests one-on-ones phone interviews non-stop media 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 That's good here we go Yeah, nice. Good look. You're destined for the bright lights of America. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, I think before we head to America, we've got to clean out Australia first. As I said yesterday, calm, relax. Uh, so, so relaxed and quite quiet. Uh, so confident in my preparation. Is there an opportunity for you to go and train with Manny again sometime in the future? Yeah, there would, yeah, there would be an opportunity. Oh, train me, arsehole. I can't wait. Me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to the fight on Wednesday night? Oh, very much so. Not only as a fan of Tim's and seeing it in a personal capacity, but also to support with a charity auction. We do an auction every night at the Tim's fights, and he's a great supporter of charity, so that's wonderful as well. Fantastic, and I understand you worked with Tim's father as well? Yeah, so Kostya, so we did all his memorabilia back in the day when he was multiple world champion. It's great to have that affirmation moved on through the generation and doing the memorabilia now for Tim as well. That's fantastic. Who did you pick to win? <laughs> Tim, by KO. This, this bloke here is going to, he's, he's the secret to, uh, to Wednesday's success. <laughs> the Russian Mafia. It's going to be a really entertaining fight stylistically. Uh, it, it looks like it'll be a fight that should go the distance. Uh, Dwight Ritchie is a very, very good boxer, world class. He's the world number nine, so uh, that speaks for itself. And Tim Zhu, he's just sort of starting his journey, only the 13 fights so far, but he's looked really good and he's improved. His patience is getting better and better. Uh, he's punching with power and he gets a really big opportunity to make a statement in this fight on Wednesday night and um, if he is going to be the real deal he has to get past Dwight Ritchie and if he wants to be a, a big star then he'd want to do it spectacularly. I prefer punching him rather than just talking to him. It's not my thing. You've got to do it on the pole, leaning on the pole. Yeah, leaning on the pole. You've got to just lean on the pole. Thank you very much to Matt. Yeah, what an outstanding night of boxing we have on Wednesday night that all culminates in this main event. Dwight Ritchie, the world number 12 against Tim Zhu, undefeated and the world number 9. What awaits for the winner is massive. We've seen a big build up to this already. Some barbs have been exchanged and plenty of talk in the lead up. Dwight Ritchie, who's 
joined us this week from Shepparton and goes into what is the biggest fight of his professional boxing career. You've had a few things to say that have spiced this up a little bit. I think uh, most notably calling Tim the home brand version of Kostya Zoo. Well, I said it once and you just ran with it. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, well, you know, being second to Costa, it's not really an insult though, is it? Yeah, one of the greatest 140 pounders ever, so it is what it is. Tim, we're back again. How does it end on Wednesday night? Um, it ends with a win, yeah, and that's the only thing I know, and that's how to win. Because I have, in my last 13 fights, I haven't lost, and you know that's all I know what to do, and that's to win. Please welcome, firstly, to the scales, the world's number nine ranked super welterweight, Dwight Ritchie. 69.40 kilograms for Richie. And now we welcome an undefeated fighter with a record of 13 and 0. He's the world's number 12 ranked super welterweight. Please welcome to the scales, Tim Zoom. 69.64 kilograms. Tim Zoo, 69.64 kilograms. What does this mean to you? What does a victory against Tim Zoo and a fight of this magnitude mean to your career? It means everything, mate. It means everything towards a world title and that next step. Tell us what happens in this fight. Victory, that's all. Would you like to make it spectacular? Do you want to make a statement? All I need is that W. Let's see. Tim Zhu, Dwight Ritchie, that's our main event. We'll get them to face off for the cameras. You can see in his body, I think his body shape's changed now. He's getting older and he's starting to get muscles in different places and he's getting stronger and he's uh, fitter, sharper. The stuff we've been doing all through the core, working on strength. Igor doing a great job with him and everyone just getting in there. But his definitely body shape has changed and uh, I think you're going to see that tomorrow night. Yeah. Mate, Timmy, we're going to go now and have some lunch. Everybody have some lunch and Timmy will get some pasta into him. Uh, carb up a little bit and um, I'd say Timmy will probably go home and play a little bit of uh, PS4 tonight and just relax and then get a good sleep and we'll be back in here probably about 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon ready to uh, get into the sheds. Oh, look, it's a bit of a family tradition that carried into the fight thing. Like uh, food and drinking for the Russians is always important, but uh, the fight thing is typically the fact that Timmy's been uh, getting ready to weigh. Uh, so he's ready to eat immediately after. So we just turned into a tradition, quite with the costure. And another little thing we always do is, you'll see Timmy's eating on his own at the moment. That's just something we always make sure he gets looked after and we order afterwards just so that he's uh, fueling right from work go. So he'll be refueled and carb loaded for tomorrow and um, we'll, then after that we'll sit around here for an hour or so and just have a giggle and a talk. <laughs> it's good for the boys to sit down and just have a feed together and talk about tomorrow night, the game plan, what time we're going to meet and uh, what, how we're getting in here. So there's a little bit of work still to go into everything tomorrow night, but um, the hard work's over for him now. He's done his way in and now he can just focus on tomorrow night. <laughs> now give us the wood. What's your game plan for your boy to win this fight? He's only a one-dimension fighter, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and we're well, too much for the boy. Can someone give him a new home? He's a boy. He was, a, he was a very caring person. Even now, uh, he's uh, has a lot of responsibility. Not just only for him, for his family as well. Like for his brother and for his sister. And uh, that's how he is. Uh, grew up to be a child. He always been uh, number one. He always been caring, caring for other people. Thanks, bro. I've been waiting for this day. Fight week's always huge for the fighters. It doesn't matter who it is. This is their moment, and it builds up to the, 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 the penultimate tonight in about, what, four hours from now. Timmy steps in the ring, but he'll be jumping out of his skin. He'll be here in about 30 minutes, and we'll walk over in about an hour's time to the venue. The kid will be jumping out of his skin. All he'll want to do now is get in that ring. The day has come. Ready to rumble? The fun, the fun begins. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Hello, hello. It's a different mood when we get over there tonight. It's business. 
and uh, you'll see and you'll feel that, you'll feel the intensity. It's, it's something that's a wonderful thing to be involved in and you never, you never ever get tired of that feeling of the anticipation and the nerves, we all have them. Timmy will take care of business and then afterwards you'll come back to the dressing room and you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about, it's a totally different feel. So what do you do between now and the fight, Tim? Just relax. Just relax. Don't burn out. A lot of people can burn out before the fight. Just, just relax, not even think about it. Just another day, another day in the office. Tommy, what's going on? Goodbye. Good luck, bro. Thanks, bro. Can you wish that? He's just across from Where is he? Him. Yeah, just across from him. Thanks, Timmy. Thanks, Timothy. Got a minute? Yeah, come here. He's a doctor on the Not injured. No. Injuries, illnesses, medications, no. nothing at all. Not going to get hurt? No. Not going to hurt the other way for him? Yeah. Thanks. No, no, no. 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 Your beauty salon, it's all your belts. <laughs> it's your house, you mean? Yes. Yeah, of course you are. You're, you're, looking, you're looking good for a nearly 50-year-old man. What's happening? You know what it is, mate? It's being a dad again. Fatherhood. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, great catching up. Here's Timmy, mate. I'll put him back on. What uh, what normally goes on between now and fight time? Well mate, it's just about Tim just getting relaxed now and just winding down and just getting his mind ready. Um, Igor getting everything ready for the corner, myself getting everything ready. He's still got a couple of hours before um, game time, so um, right now he's just getting mentally ready there, sitting there, listening to some music and just getting his head around it. Do you want to sit down? Yeah, sure. Um, I might sit on this, I'll go sit on this, I don't know. Uh, Amiga, have you been into Dwight's room yet? No, not yet. Okay. What sort of mood are you expecting around there? Uh, I think he'll be a little bit fearful about what's coming at him. Yeah, Ben, thank you. The man at the moment, Tim Zhu, alongside me. Uh, Tim, oh, the time for talking almost over. Are you ready to get in that ring and get this done? Yeah, well, you know, it's been eight, eight weeks of hard work um, to be finally at this, the, the last little bit. You know, this is, this is the fun part. Three minutes, boys. Three minutes, then we walk. Okay, boys. Three boys. Go together, everyone. Here, one of the important fights in your career, man. Good preparation, good venue. Everything good, man. You feel good, man. Just enjoy yourself. Do your best. Okay? Smart. Glenn. Boys. Tonight changes the world. This kid's put in 12 weeks of unbelievable work. You all played your part. Tonight he unlocks the next level. Tonight he's going to destroy whatever's in front of him. The strength, the, it's there. The mental agility's there. Tim is at his peak. You guys all played your part. 
tonight we go and we bring home the treasure. All right, remember, one team, one dream. dream. Team Zoo 2, let's go. Let's come, on, come on, come on. from Shepparton, Victoria, Australia. He's a WBF Asia Pacific Super Welterweight Champion, ranked number one Super Welterweight Boxer in Australia. He's ranked number nine in the world by the IBF. He has 20 professional fights with 19 wins, one loss, two big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Dwight Cowboy Richie! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, enters the ring wearing white trunks with blue trim, weighing in at 69.64 kgs, hailing from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, residing in Rockdale, New South Wales, Australia. He is a WBA Oceania Super Welterweight Champion, the Austral Super Welterweight Champion, ranked number 12 in the world by the IBF in a two-time WBC Asia Boxing Council Continental Super Welterweight Champion. He is an undefeated professional fighter with 13 professional fights, 13 wins, 10 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Tim Jones! All right, Tim and Dwight, listen to my instructions at all times. You're both professionals, protect yourselves at all times, and good luck to both of you. Let's go. Let's go indeed. There's been a lot said in the build-up to this one, and that is because this is such a big fight for that man, Tim Zhu, and also okay, for go. his opponent, Dwight to Ritchie. Yeah, Zhu came in without much, but now he looks well. Good shot from Tim Zhu. That's his shot so far in this round, and again, and he follows it up with a right hand. Left hook, right hand. That was a good, two good shots. And again with that left hook from Zhu. That looks like it's going to keep landing if he wants to keep throwing it. So he's there. got to be careful not to run into to the body he goes. Good body shots. Good body shots. Good That's much shot. better from Dwight Ritchie. That's what I did expect, you know, would expect from Dwight Ritchie. There's that right hand from Tim Zhu. Chopping right hand. He's deadly with that right hand, Timmy Zhu. It's good body work from Ritchie. Zhu wow. sits down and looks for the left hook. That was a powerful left hook. Big land. cut over the eye from the right hand. And a nasty cut it is too. It's pouring blood. Oh, it's been dear. opened right up on Dwight Ritchie. Tim Zhu has oh. a target and he finds it. Big right hand. Right hands are pouring in now from Zhu. Oh, Halfway through round Stop. number Stop. three. Stop. He Stop. smells Stop. blood. This, this could finish Stop. the fight. Stop. Stop. And Stop. that was a right hand. It's from a punch, so it'll be a TKO to Zhu if it is. It is a nasty cut and it's right in that bad spot. He's pressing, he's trying to get rid of the blood so he can throw his shots. Out of the way and here comes Zhu. Has his man hurt? Oh. Throws that right hand. Right hand on the eye again. Right hand and left hook. Zhu on the hunt. Zhu punches down on him. Throws a left hook as well. Oh, wow. Uppercuts. Oh, a good wow. shot from Richie with the right hand. Oh, How they exchange on the ropes. And Very Steve. impressive round for, for Timmy Zhu indeed. Oh, huge round for Timmy Zhu. Huge round. Yeah, and no. he's frustrated, and Zhu has him in the corner and throws a huge right hand that whacks into the chin and 
a left hand as well yep. from Richie. Oh. And there's a big right hand from Tim Zhu. That was a thudding right. He rocks Dwight Richie back. Position. This is the moment. Look at that. That was a bomb of a right hand. Yeah, he you know. buzzed him. Right hand, a slick oh, one. Oh, oh. Richie. He's hurt. He is hurt. I'm and there. to work goes Tim Zhu with Dwight Ritchie in a neutral corner against the ropes with a badly cut left eye. He's fighting back, but Tim Zhu hurt him with a shot there. Like Zhu's closing the gap. He's the one that wants oh. to fight him close. Big, big shots big from punch. both of these boxes, and Zhu gets what, through. What a fight. A brawling round of action, which included more damage to that eye and a big shot that, that did was, hurt. He was hurt Dwight there. Ritchie. That was flush on the chin. He's wobbling. Oh. He's definitely improving every fight. He is an uppercut oh. and a right hand and a hook as well. And another right hand from Zoo. Oh. And he finishes the round very, very strongly. The crowd start to cheer him on. Good work from Tim Zoo. Excellent work from Tim Zoo. He's very methodical, thudding, powerful shot. There's big shots again from Zoo. Oh, big right Richie hand comes Zou. back late in this seventh oh, round. Richie keeps working hard. Nice uppercut from Richie. A nice right hand from Tim Zhu. A left oh. hand from Richie. A big uppercut oh. from Zhu. Body oh. shots, Zhu. Good shots from Zhu. Good shots back from Richie. What a war we have here. This is classic, Come classic on. stuff. Go over there, Tim. Come on. Uh, tape again. Go with the tape, tape again. again. Come on, mate. Get it right. Have you get new tape or what? Mate, Must go. be from the butt. I think he's very unhappy about he it, right, Richie? Most displeased. Oh. He won't like that big right hand from Tim Zhu either. Big right hand. Working on the inside and taking oh. a huge right hand again. Big right hand from Tim Zhu. Oh, and a hook on the inside. Oh. Yeah. And another right hand. Richie's running out of gas, I think, now. Yeah, he comes a big shot there. But he's, he's... Oh, look at him, he fights back. He works oh. hard, he takes a huge right hand as Richie. Unbelievable. Oh, another huge right hand. Big finish by Timmy Zoo here, landing 30 the seconds left in round 10 of 10, and oh. Tim Zoo against the extremely tough Dwight Richie oh, finds wow. another what a right fight. hand. What a fight. But Yay. we've seen that Tim Zhu is the real deal. He's gone to another level. He certainly oh, has. He's beaten Dwight Ritchie here tonight. And he's shown us that he's ready for bigger things. And as we have a look at the highlights through these 10 rounds of action, he had to show us something else, something new, to prove that he was special. And he has. Tim Zhu. He certainly has. The whole kit of punches. Oh. There's the right hand that caused the damage and what damage it was. And we thought it'd be stopped right there and then, but Oof. he rocked him too. I've never oh. seen Dwight Ritchie hurt like that. He was wobbled badly. So many big shots and such a tough performance from Ritchie. That right hand of Timmy Zoo's is a winner, isn't it? He, he just pulls it out of the fire whenever necessary and it lands cleanly and it's, and it's powerful. After 10 rounds of super welterweight boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. William Solis scores the competition 98-93. Justin Kennedy, 98-92. And Richard Israel, 97-93 for your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner, Tim Zou! Too many belts, Tim Zhu. Not enough. Tim, a very tough fight. We went the full distance. Do you think that you went to another level tonight? I think it was a great experience. You know, Dwight's one hell of an opponent and, you know, kept me on my toes. He's gone. He let me go somewhere where I haven't been. And it's definitely something that I can, I can learn from and, you know, can even get better. How much do you think you've learnt from what happened tonight by going this full distance against the toughest opponent of your career and in a fight like that? Well, I just proved that I'm the best in Australia. You know, I've cleaned up my division. Number one Super Bowl in Australia. You know, there's, there's only a handful of number of fights here domestically that I want now. And um, time to go, time to think uh, about overseas.
What about Jeff Horn? He's here. He's got a big task ahead of him. Once he finishes his task, then we can talk. For me, I just think Tim dominated every round with his jab, and his, that, that right hand was devastating. And, uh, to, to, to get the scorecards as we see, you know, get someone that was so credentialed and you know right up there at the top of the game. I mean, that it's a game changer for Tim. For me personally, I think probably Tim's best performance for quite a long time because it's just so dominant. I mean, Dwight never Dwight performed beautifully and did what he had to do, but Tim was just too strong, way too strong. It was like a defining fight tonight for Tim's career. Career. There were all those that said he wouldn't beat Joel Camilleri. There were all those that said he wouldn't beat Dwight Ritchie. Well, he has. And for all those that said he wasn't on the same level, well, he's above them. And that's a fact. And Timmy tonight showed the world, and the world was watching, believe me, that uh, he's arrived. And it's time to, you know, we'll keep stepping him up. Every fight from here on will be difficult for Tim. But that's part and parcel of working your way towards the top. You know, he was a tough, tough little bugger and kept coming. Did you feel in control? Yeah, the whole time I felt in control. I was landing the cleanest shots. He was landing a few punches. Again, I said it before, the fight was like a little facial massage. That's why I stayed in the pocket and I was able to, you know, trade a little bit and, you know, I got the better of him. Fantastic. And where's he now for you? You just recover um, the next couple of days? How do you relax? I'm going to relax a little bit. Um, have some nice food that I've been missing out in the last eight weeks. Um, What's your favourite? What's my favourite? I like barbecue probably. Yeah. I feel like some, <laughs> feel like some wagyu beef. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Just burgers, pizza, whatever, whatever there is. Who, who definitely, like? definitely not poached chicken and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm not having. That's for sure. But yeah, just enjoy myself for the next couple of days. Um, off to Russia on Wednesday for ten days, and then I'll be back. And then I'm sure Glenn's gonna give me a few. Really? Does that mean I've got to go back to work tomorrow? No. To All right, have, have two weeks off, Glenn. <laughs> let me just let me just finish off on camera saying, and just how proud I am personally of this young bloke. I spoke with his dad this afternoon before this fight, and I said because the world's watching tonight to see if Tim's the real deal. And those that said previously that Tim wasn't at that level, well, he's five points above. So I'm yeah, very yeah. proud of him. Congratulations. Yeah, no. Good man. So who, who's, who's the master barbecue? Me. Yeah. <laughs> he loves his meat. The boy loves his meat. <laughs>